Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about the effect of temperature on the IV characteristics of a pn junction diode. In the pn junction diode equation, there is a parameter Vt which is directly proportional to temperature and because of that it is called thermal voltage. However, there is another parameter reverse saturation current, which is strongly temperature dependent. The reverse saturation current at room temperature is very small compared to the forward current and cannot be seen well on the IV graph. But if I change the scale, it can be seen, for example, for the diode that I have used here, it is about a few picoamps. If I change the scale to 10 nanoamps, it is very close to zero and can hardly be seen. But when we increase the temperature, we can see that it is increased significantly. Its increase with temperature is exponential. In silicon, the rate of increase is about 7% per degree Celsius, or it nearly doubles with each 10 degrees Celsius increase in temperature. The exponential term e to power of v divided by eta vt has no significant effect in reverse bias because v is negative and an exponential term with a negative exponent is smaller than one and can be very smaller than one. Let's see what happens when the diode is in forward bias. The current is increased by temperature because of IS, but at the same time, it is decreased by the exponential term. Because in this case, the voltage is positive and E to power of V divided by eta VT can be a very large number. IS is increased by temperature and the exponential term is decreased with temperature. There is a competition between these two terms, but the rate of increase in IS is much larger than in the exponential term. And therefore, the forward current increases with temperature, but not as much as in reverse current because of the reduction by the exponential term. The rate of increase in current depends on the diode voltage. Because of the increase in current, the forward voltage is reduced by increasing the temperature. The forward voltage drops 2 millivolts per degree Celsius or 0.1 volt drop for each 50 degrees Celsius increase in temperature. Now let's see what is the significance of the temperature effect on diode application. The reverse saturation current is strongly temperature dependent. However, this is not the only reason that the effect of temperature is more significant when the diode is in reverse bias. Let's see this in a circuit example. In this circuit, the diode is biased in reverse direction. Assume that at room temperature, the reverse saturation current is 100 picoamps. Therefore, the current in the circuit is 100 picoamps and the voltage across the resistor is 10 microvolts, much less than the applied voltage of 5 volts. It cannot be even measured by many commercial voltmeters the diode behaves like an open circuit. Now if we increase the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius, the current is increased to 14 nanoamps and the voltage across the resistor is increased to 1.4 millivolts. It's still small, but has increased 140 times and is measurable. If the temperature is increased to 200 degrees Celsius, the current is increased to 12 microamps and VO is increased to 1.2 volts.
which is comparable to the applied voltage. At higher temperatures, the current is only limited by the circuit. Voltage across the diode is less than 0.2 volts. The diode behaves like a short circuit. By increasing the temperature, the diode changes from a nearly open circuit to a nearly short circuit. When the diode is in forward bias, the effect of temperature is not that significant. One reason is that the rate of change in current is less than in reverse. But this is not the main reason. In forward bias, the current is usually limited by the circuit. Let's show this in a circuit. In this circuit, the diode is biased in forward direction. Assume that at room temperature, the diode forward voltage is 0.7 volts. The current in the circuit is calculated as 4.3 milliamps and the voltage across the resistor is 4.3 volts. At 100 degrees Celsius, the diode forward voltage is reduced to 0.55 volts and therefore the current is increased to 4.45 milliamps. At 200 degrees Celsius, the diode forward voltage is reduced to 0.35 volts and the current is increased to 4.65 milliamps. As you can see, the current in all conditions is nearly the same as room temperature. The current has increased by temperature, but not that much. Even at very high temperatures, the current does not change much. It is limited to a maximum of 5 milliamps by the circuit. Because of the change in its characteristics, diode can be used as a temperature sensor or as a thermometer. Usually, diode in a forward bias at a constant current is used. The reason is that the change in forward voltage has a linear relationship with temperature. For a silicon diode, it is 2 millivolts per degree Celsius. Usually, a differential amplifier is used to increase the sensitivity of the circuit. A diode in reverse bias at a constant voltage is sometimes used if a higher sensitivity is needed. Thank you for watching.